Good afternoon, everyone. How the fuck are you guys doing? I'm doing pretty goddamn good. And today, I, I think I, I just want to rant a little bit. Um, it seems to me that in the midst of all this drama between Thunderfoot and Dawa Films and, you know, uh, the d Land and Cole chat and all, all this hubbub about Islam and, and, and bigotry against Islamic people and bigotry in general, um, I, I think there's been some confusion on YouTube that, that I'm starting to notice from a lot of people that I've always had a lot of respect for and now I'm starting to question their judgment a little bit. But before I jump to any conclusions, what I'm going to do is, is I'm going to help. I'm going to take some time out of my busy fucking schedule, which consists of like naps and then pre-nap naps and snacking and making YouTube videos, masturbating, napping, snacking. You get it, right? But, but I'm going to interrupt the flow of my happiness for just a, a few minutes to help people out who are confused about uh, this, you know, they're confused about the difference between the concept of actual bigotry and the, the critique of bad thought, right? Criticizing bad ideas and bigotry, which is a bad idea, they're not the same thing. They, they, they never will be. They're not even similar to each other. And here's the prime example. The, the irony here is that bigotry itself is bad thinking, right? Because th there is no basis for bigotry. There, there is no logical foundation on which to build bigotry upon, right? It doesn't exist. Bigotry is blind. Bigotry is illogical. It always has been and it always will be. You hate homosexuals uh, because they're homosexuals. You hate black people because they're black and, and you're not, right? You see how that's bad thinking? You see how that makes no sense whatsoever at all, okay? That's the difference. When you're critical of, of say, a religious idea, that's not bigotry. I'm sorry, but it's just not the same fucking thing. Not even close, okay? You should be critical always of any idea that, that's not built on, on reason, that's not built on any sort of logical thought. I mean, that's really what you should be doing, bigotry being one of these ideas. Now, there's also a difference between making um, really illogical generalizations, bigoted generalizations, and, and making generalizations that are, that are built on a logical foundation, because they do exist, okay? Here's an example of a, a generalization that doesn't work because it's, it's bad thinking. All right, here it is. If I say all Christians want to bomb the abortion clinics, right, if that's my statement, that is a bad statement. It's an untrue statement. It's not built on reason. It's not built upon logic. It's just bad thinking, which I am against. Are you with me so far? If I, if, if I do, however, make a sweeping generalization and say all Christians believe silly shit, see how that's true? And I can actually demonstrate to you that that's true. The only way that that's not true, okay, is if the Christian in question doesn't believe anything in the Bible at all, just doesn't believe it, and then we're going to have a hard time identifying that person as a Christian, aren't we? I mean, let's face it. That's a generalization that has a foundation of truth, reason, logic. You open the Bible, you read it, all kinds of silly shit that's not true, they believe that, okay? Sorry if that makes me sound like a bigot, but that's not bigoted because, you see, I explained the difference between bigotry and, and being critical of shitty ideas. Okay, now let's move on to Islam. Same thing with the... It, it's bigoted. It's funny that I have to explain this to so many people. See, it, it's bigoted to say something like, all Muslims are terrorists. That's a bigoted statement. Why? Once again, because it, it's not built on any rational thinking. It's, it's not built on anything that you, could, you can't support such an ignorant statement. It's impossible to do. So that's a bigoted statement. Right? Blind bullshit. Okay? However, you can say all Muslims believe in silly shit. See, you can say that because that's built on, on, on reason. That makes sense. It makes sense to say that. Okay? 
what you do when you confuse the, the critique of bad thought with bigotry is you enable bad thinking. That's all the fuck you do. Every time you put, you know, you tighten up your skirt and you become a hypersensitive little pussy and you start trying to fucking nitpick at every little fucking word that a critic is speaking about a religion and paint them as some sort of fucking bigot. And I'm not talking about only Thunderfoot here, okay? I'm talking about how from that conversation, this is starting to become the trendy thing to do now. Oh, well, we can't say that about Muslims, because, well, that's bordering on a bigoted statement. There's a clear difference between being critical and being bigoted. It's black and fucking white. All we have to do is confirm if the statement does or does not have a foundation of truth. That's the important thing. Once we've done that, we can decide logically if there's a difference between if it's bigoted or if it's critical of bad thinking. Huge fucking difference. And all you do when you nitpick and you're constantly paranoid about coming off as some sort of bigoted individual, all you're doing is enabling stupid fucking bullshit. Stop doing it. Stop being so goddamn paranoid all the time. It is not fucking bigoted to point out that somebody's ideology is fucking dumb. We've been doing it on YouTube for the longest goddamn time. All of us, everybody, we, we do it all the fucking time. Don't be so concerned about it, okay? And, and then there's this other thing. I was talking to this guy in, in blog TV, and I'm not going to say any names, but and, and I'm, I'm pretty sure that he was sort of playing devil's advocate a little bit and just having fun with the discussion, which, which is cool. But it's actually something I've heard before. Um, you know, you point out, well, this particular aspect of, of the religion is stupid, and here's why. And they go, well, it's not stupid to them. So it's valid. You know, or it's real to them. If they believe it, then it's real to them. No, it, it, it's not real to them. It's just what they believe that's not real. Okay? All I'm really trying to fucking get at with this video is stop worrying so much about how you're going about criticizing stupid fucking ideas. It's less important than actually criticizing them. It's more important to point out nonsense than it is to tiptoe around it and enable the people that fucking cling to it by kissing their ass and constantly walking on fucking eggshells uh, because you're afraid you might offend them. Fuck it. Offending a moron, okay, who believes dumb shit is a very small price to, to pay to show a hundred other not-so-stupid people how dumb the idea is. It's a small price to pay. I will always be willing to pay it. Always. And, and you should be willing to pay it, too. Grow, grow back your nuts, okay, and, and stop walking on eggshells for dumb fucking ideas. Thanks. You guys have a good day.